In 2022, Rolex updated the Explorer. This goes to show that there's still a market for smaller tool watches, and that is why we have the Arctic from the Tool Watch Company. This offers you not just a unique design, but also the use of some exotic materials. This video is brought to you by Tool Watch Company. Use the link below with the password DA Tool Watch Co to get a massive 33% discount on this Arctic. Explorer watches are simple, reliable, and relatively versatile watches to own. Whether it's an Alpinist from Seiko or the Explorer by Rolex, this compact tree hander is a must for watch collectors. Watch category aside, you should just be able to pick it up and use to your heart's content. This is a 38mm watch. This is quite normal for this kind of watch even though that reads smaller by modern tastes. The Arctic is also quite light to wear because of its case construction. Operation is pretty simple. Unscrew the crown to access the time setting. Pull it all the way out to set the time. The production model will use the SW200-B caliber that ensures there is no ghost date on the movement. Screw back the crown and you're ready to bring this watch along with your adventure. Behind the watch is a way to access the levers to release the straps. You can now pick a 20mm strap to match your bungee cord or, well, your shoelaces. This Arctic comes with a pair of great quality Safiano leather straps that's more than adequate for daily use. But let's toss this Explorer onto various straps to see how versatile it can be. On a brown Lubak strap, the added texture and more aggressive taper provides a traveler's personality in tandem with its blue dial. Drop it on your wrist and you can also feel the comfort from that extra millimeters of wrist room. The aggressive taper from the buckle up to the case makes for a larger impression. For those looking for a rougher adventure, this blue sailcloth strap from Artem makes for a great pairing with the Arctic. The white stitching also projects that visual interest from the dial out to your wrist. Reverse the collar palette or the wrist it's strapped onto and it's no issue at all for this very light watch. On my right wrist, you can say that you can never go wrong with a summery light toned band. Back on my preferred wrist, this NATO strap bearing Explorer is ready to tackle any task. You need not worry about the ring keeper's finishes either because the Arctic's case has both brushed and polished facets to match them with. The case deserves a little bit more attention as much of the value from this signature line comes from this area. The case diameter is 38mm with a 46.35mm lug-to-lug distance. The case height is just 1135 with a water resistance of 200 meters. This Arctic is also powered by a Solita SW200 caliber that has a 38-hour power serve and 4Hz frequency. The gray tone of the case gives it away. This is made from titanium. This very hard metal is finished with brushed sides and a gorgeous polished vessel wall. This whole watch is also covered with an anti-scratch coating that's hardened to 1200 Vickers. With virtually non-existent scratch marks, it was hard to tell that I was already using this for two weeks now. Sorry for the delay, Tool Watch Co. Titanium is also resistant to extreme temperatures and is hypoallergenic. Sensitive skins approve this message. From our skins to our eyes, this explorer manages to also tingle the fuzzy wuzzies with this beautiful meteorite dial. With it, every texture pattern is unique and so is the light play as it hits the surface. All of its customers will also receive a digital gemology report of the meteorite dial, something most brands won't even consider. Under low light conditions, the VGW9 Superluminova performs well as expected, especially with the unique hand designs. The minute hand is big and distinct, has an arrowhead shape. This makes it easy to identify compared to the chevron hour hand. The second hand is just lovely as it is molded with these three triangles that represents icicles dripping against the direction of the second hand. 
Aside from the caliber, all of the watch components were designed in-house specifically for the Arctic. Another great design choice is the use of blue AR coating. This light blue sheen over the crystal delivers a pleasing iridescence to the timepiece. Yes, it is a simple time-only watch, but it's never boring to look at. You don't need to deep dive into the production process to appreciate what makes it stand out from the rest. In all honesty, it doesn't really need to stand out too much. Explorer watches tend to be uncomplicated anyway. It just needs to be compelling enough to be owned. But this New York-based company thrives with the spirit of collaboration. As what's evident with its prototype, there were changes made out of the request by its supporters. There's now less text on the dial, and the word field replaces the explorer. The word may be gone, but the adventure remains. This sense of adventure and love of nature also nurtures the company's collaboration with various preservation projects. And with all of the things packed into this watch, you can be sure of another thing that will be preserved. I'm not really a fan of Explorer watches, especially those with super simple dials, but this from the watch tool company offers a lot of value because of the exotic materials that it uses. It's really simple and nice from afar, but beautifully interesting up close. Initially, I actually wanted this to be on a bracelet. They also offer another version uh, on a bracelet, which is a little bit more limited. But you know what? The strap works so well on this. But I'm pretty sure I could like use those Artem straps, those silk cloth straps on this. Want more exotic watches? Click on this video right here. Maybe lower. Video like right here. Yeah? Explorer watches. Explorer watches? Is that something that they call it? Explorer watches? Uh, 